What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have something very, very special in store for you guys. We're going to be doing a shop tour, showing you guys what's going on with the shop, some things that are going to be going on in the future with it, plus what happened in the past where it came to where it is now, and some of the little bonus footage here later on in the video, so I want to stay tuned for that. First, I want to show you right now, shortly after I bought the place, what this shop looked like, and then what I've transformed it into so far, and then Eventually, we'll do a video on the full final reveal of how it's really, really going to be, which is going to be extremely, extremely impressive. Like, I have this vision. I'm a perfectionist. I, I, I have things planned out, mapped in my mind. I've been literally thinking about for the last year of certain things to do with lighting and stuff like that. But more to come on that here in a minute. I'm going to jump right into now, about a year ago when I first bought this place, to how it looked, and then we'll jump back into today. You guys just saw the shop has come a long way from where it was at um, about a year ago from when I purchased this place to where it is at now now we're like I said we're only about 90% done with it we still have a little ways to go which I'll talk about here a little bit later on in the video but right now we're gonna run around the shop show you guys here fully in depth what's going on with it talk about it some of the plans I have for the future here in the shop so let's get going so now guys, first things first, we're gonna start over here on the far side of the shop. This is where all the washing happens pretty much for the most part, aside from eco-friendly washing, which typically happens here in the shop. Now, over here first, of course, we got the, the beautiful Viper ACR. Now, up right here, this is pretty much all the full washing system right here. This is the Obsessed Garage Cranzel right here. We got the reel, this is the 50-foot hose. They typically come with a 100-foot hose, I believe. Now, I opted out to keep my hose and not purchase theirs just because I don't really need a, a big hose um, just for where I'm washing at here. We've got the CR spotless system down there. Uh, we got our two buckets right here. Now, this is not a true two bucket method. I will talk in a later video about that and why I do not do a two bucket method. But basically, I have a wash, I have a wheels bucket, there's no rinse, and there will be more details which may potentially cause some controversy. But more to come on that in a little later video. Up here, just our typical cleaning supplies our foam cannons we got a nice light right here from when we're doing the, the basically the uh, the glass on the windows up here we've got some extra towels we've got our meter right here as well as the meter that's on here but i like to double check make sure everything's on the up and up towels like i mentioned we got some synthetic clay towels and like that extra box of gloves some more cleaning supplies right here gloves right there so wheel bucket for all the wheel brushes and then we got this nice little dry mop for basically sweeping the mop, or I'm sorry, sweeping the mop, sweeping the floor up here, guys, for basically cleaning the floor and everything in the shop right here. This is a really, really nice tool to have. And then once I'm done with it, I'll typically once a week, I have my vacuum right here and I will vacuum the floor, but do not blow the shop out and just kind of keep everything clean so you don't want dust and stuff flying around, especially you know on these nice cars that we have up here. So the vacuum right here, this is a vacuum blow, the Metro vacuum blow with a, I believe this is a 30 foot hose or so. This is a basically, so when I kind of do everything here in the shop, I really think it out because I'm very meticulous and detailed and thorough. And when I pretty much originally set the shop up, I originally had the vacuum on the far side over there. I have since moved it here to a very central location. Reason for that being is when it is mounted basically right here, I can vacuum a car here, I can vacuum a car here, I can vacuum a car here or here. So this is, makes it very, very nice and convenient. And also I am able to take this hose right here with my attachment right here and I can actually vacuum the whole floor up on the whole shop to keep everything nice and clean, getting all these little cracks and crevices so dust and dirt and debris did not get lodged in there and just kind of clutters the shop. I'm, like I said, I'm very meticulous and detailed and thorough. I want things kept a certain way. 
Now, if you guys notice, we have two buckets right here. Now, this is not a true two bucket method. This is actually for doing my eco-friendly wash. So I'm doing a, a wash here in the shop. Um, I have my buckets right here. I don't have to, to walk all the way back over there to those two buckets. Again, it's all about being efficient. And that's what I'm all about is being basically thorough, efficient, getting the job done right. And having multiples of things in a shop is kind of important um, as the shop gets bigger. All right, guys, next thing I want to talk about here is something I've wanted for a very, very long time, and that is a nice four post lift, guys. We have this beautiful twin bush four post lift right here where I can actually store, um, keep extra cars here in the shop. So now occasionally I have clients that need for me to store their car for a couple extra days after it gets finished or even a week or two. Um, I now have that ability to do that where I've got a car here, we've got a car here, we've got the lift right here. This is typically where I'll do all my work is right here on the, the little scissor lift. And when I'm in the process of detailing a car, waiting for a client to pick up their car, if I have clients that are out of town or they're just not available to pick up the cars right away, I can actually put it here up here on the lift, uh, which makes it very nice and convenient. Next thing we're talking about guys here is the scissor lift. Now this scissor lift here guys is something I've wanted for a very, very long time. If you guys remember the old place, we had the quick jack system. Nice system for the most part, however there were limitations to it. One of those big limitations being there were certain cars I would not be able to lift up because of the lift points on it. So when I got this place right here, I knew exactly what I was going for, which was this nice twin bush scissor lift right here. What's cool about this one right here is it gives me a bit more options where I can actually lift this up lock it in place so if the car is a little bit longer i can set those rubber blocks for lifting the car up where need be just depending on the car itself so this is a, a really nice system to have works really good um, so far no complaints about it uh, actually i take that back there is one complaint about it this lift right here as you can see is rated for 6600 pounds i recently had a, a porsche panamera hybrid in here for a detail and because the hybrid has batteries and extra heavy, the car I think was rated at like 6,000-ish pounds, if I remember right. Um, and the, v or the, the lift right here would go up a little bit and it would just like, like where it wouldn't go anymore. I'm like, what the heck? It's rated at 6,600 pounds and the car is 6,000, but for some reason it's not able to lift it. So I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe there's some setting or something I don't have set up right with the lift. Uh, but other than that, that's the only little complaint I could say about it. All right, guys, moving back over here to the nice cabinets. If you guys remember, I actually had these exact same cabinets here at the last shop. These are the Gladiator cabinets. We got the Gladiator workbench. If you notice here, I have recently added the six foot Gladiator workbench as well as two other cabinets down below there just for extra storage because I have accumulated some extra stuff and it kind of just keeps everything nice, neat and organized. Now with the, with the cabinets right here, the setup I have, I'm gonna I'll, I'll go into it a little bit more thorough in a later video, but basically I'm just gonna kind of show you guys right now. So we have like our coating, stuff like that, some other extra supplies, but mostly coating stuff in here. Over here, just some extra stock, overstock of more detailing supplies. We've got some products in here. Down here, we got towels, things like that. So we got towels there, towels there, towels there, and some extra products in there. We've got our detailing stool right there. I love that detailing stool. Up over here, we've got the nice scan grip light. We actually have two more right there and one in the detail van over there. Headlamps, uh, two-way radios. So if you ever need those, those are nice and handy to have. Uh, extra lens, GoPro, stuff like that. I have some plans for that here in the future. Just uh, other random goodies over here. Uh, up right here, or in here, I should say, this is like the main detailing supplies, pretty much all the stuff I use uh, quite frequently is all in there. And now, of course, no shop is complete without a nice sound system. We have the Yamaha. Uh, stereo up there as well as the Polk audio speakers all around the shop here guys just recently ha um, bought those and we got a nice Polk audio subwoofer guys so when we're detailing in here we're really jamming out so um, it's nice having a nice sound system now moving along over here guys we got the toolbox right here so basically we have towels in here it's kind of a little messy right there that's how it should look we've got some polishers in here polishers in here uh, extra tools things like that in here and here so there's kind of like tools and things and everything set up in the toolbox over there 
We've got our Craftsman air compressor right there. Now this is where we're gonna kind of transition into future of what we got going on here in the shop, some things we're working on permit wise. And that is basically, if you look right here, we got the yellow tape on the ground. So this is actually gonna ultimately be a wall all in here. We've got the reels for the air compressor. The power cord reel will be right here. will be a little shelf, potentially a fridge right here, a shelf above the fridge. And then that's where the sound system, the stereo right there will be right there. And then I have one more of those cabinets, which is right there that will go up top just like those guys. So that's kind of how that's going to work out. Uh, over here we have, it's going to be really sweet, but there's a four foot table right there. And that's going to slide right behind here, kind of tuck away in there. We've got the three-step footstool that will actually mount right here, as well as the little one-step footstool that will mount right here on the wall. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the far side of the shop over there, I have another three-step footstool and a, and a little one-step footstool. Reason for that being, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very meticulous and detailed and thorough, and I want to be as efficient as I can. And by having multiples of certain items, I can have a step stool here and a step stool there where I'm washing a car out there, it's like a truck or an SUV, something bigger where I can't reach the top. I don't want to run back over here to the shop to grab it. I can very easily walk right into the shop there, grab it, keep going with my job and not have to run back and forth and vice versa where I have a car here that I'm say polishing, I need to polish on the top of it. I don't want to have to run way back over there to grab it. I can just boom right there real quick and easy. So again, it's all about being efficient and it's, it's, it's nice having a proper setup with stuff that's right there when you need it. Uh, one other thing that's going to be going on, I forgot to mention, guys, we have one more cabinet that's actually going to go right here above the air compressor, guys. So there'll be one more cabinet up there. I've got a couple ideas, so I'm going to have a blank wall right here. It's going to be kind of open. If you guys notice, we actually have the sheetrock torn away right there. It looks horrible right now, but there's a reason for that. Basically, uh, I had to tear into that because there's actually going to be a door that's going to be going in right there. Uh, more to come on that probably in a later video. Uh, if you guys look right up here now, we have all this old lighting. This is our Basically when I bought the place, this is what was in here. And now this is what, what kind of transitioned into, I can't do any specialty lighting yet until we get permits because this basically this whole top's gonna have to be ripped out um, for doing all the specialty lighting, but we're gonna be doing a double thick um, drywall system up here too. Also, if you guys look right here, we have the center mounted motor for the garage door right here. We're gonna be doing a side mount garage door opener so this whole track and rail will all go away and there'll be nice lighting panel lights and little pinpoint lights uh, or directional lights i should say i believe what they're called all throughout the top right here and probably over here in the bigger part of the garage now that's pretty much the gist of it for the shop here there's probably some things i'm forgetting guys um, i'm going to cover everything once the shop is fully done we're probably about six months to maybe hopefully not a year but maybe potentially a year out because there are some other things I'm gonna be doing here that I'm not gonna reveal just yet, but they're gonna be huge, very, very big. You guys are definitely not gonna miss them, not just here at the shop, but on the main place over there as well. So more things to come on that. Also, lastly, guys, as I promised, there's something a little special coming in here at the end, and that is the detail van, guys. I'm not gonna do a full thorough video on this just yet, but I wanna kinda give you guys a little teaser because the next video will be doing a full thorough overview of the detail van and as mentioned earlier i am very meticulous and detailed and very methodical so when i before i built the detail van it's all full custom i really thought it out where i'm saying hey i need something that's going to be very efficient like good on gas for one but also more specifically for my equipment i need to pull up to a job be fully set up within just a couple like like two three minutes max like fully set up ready to detail and i don't want to waste time where you pull up to the shop and you gotta grab this and you're detailing a car and then all of a sudden you gotta, oh crap, I gotta, go, I gotta go grab this product right here and then you're running back and forth. And it's just a lot of wasted time. And I'm gonna cover that fully in depth. You guys are gonna love this video right here. It's gonna be really, really good. I'm, I'm actually something I've been wanting to do for a while. So you guys are gonna enjoy this video, no doubt. Um, I will put a link in the description to this right here because this video will be coming out right after this video, guys. So you guys are definitely gonna check that out. More to come on that very, very soon. But that is about all I got for you guys in today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel here, you guys have not already subscribed, 
I invite you guys to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on those notifications, because we are dropping two new videos every single week. You guys are definitely not going to miss out. So until next time, guys, thank you guys again so much for tuning in and watching, and I will talk to you soon.